Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're going to be reviewing the TAC Bar Emergency Food Ration and we're also going to be doing a big giveaway, so stay tuned. Alright, so before I go into the review about the TAC Bar, I'm going to quickly tell you the requirements to enter into the contest. So basically all you have to do is like the video, subscribe if you enjoy the channel. What I would like you to do is to leave a comment and tell me what sort of situations do you think the TAC Bar might be useful in. So that's it, just like the video, tell me what situation that you think the TAC Bar might be useful in, that will get you an entry into the contest. So the winner of this contest is going to receive a complete TAC bar package, complete with five emergency food rations, some water filtration tablets, and the belt and the ammo box, all that good stuff. And that's going to be sent direct from the owner of the company. We're going to set a contest deadline of April 29th, and on April 30th, I will announce the winner. All right, so first off, I want to send a shout out to the maker of this product. Having worked with a lot of companies in the past, I know when somebody is passionate about the business they have and wants to bring people the best quality product they can, I can say that this tack bar is a very innovative product. Now I was skeptical at first because I figured it was just a glorified Daletrex or SOS bar in a ammo box, in a plastic ammo box. But after a deeper look at the ingredients and the packaging and all that, I've really come to enjoy this and the taste I must say it tastes a lot better than that. All right so I'm going to be using my prepper food rating scale in order to assess the tack bars utility as a survival food. So as some of you might remember there are 10 different categories. The whole purpose of using this prepper food index to rate these foods is to try to get an objective assessment of how good this food might be for survival or prepping purposes. So I'm going to quickly go through these 10 dimensions here and basically give you the rationale for why I gave it the score that I did. So for taste, I'm gonna have to give it a four out of 10. Now I know this might sound bad, but I want you to think about the fact that if this was a Deltrex bar, I would easily give it a one out of 10. Now in order for something to get a 10 out of 10 in this category, it would have to be cuisine. It would have to be something like Mountain House's most tasty entree. It actually doesn't taste that bad. I just found that there's a bit of a doughy taste to it. The actual ingredients are excellent. Personally, I'm not a person who likes bread a lot and because wheat is one of the main ingredients, I did find that it's a bit doughy tasting and smelling and because it's such a dense amount of nutrition and when I say dense, I mean that it's the smallest amount of calories and micronutrients that you can get that I've seen in a small package. One thing I should say about it is that all the ingredients are organic. The manufacturer of this product really went over and above the typical food ration bars that generally just consist of a bunch of garbage. There's a lot of natural ingredients in things like honey, whey protein, kosher salt, cane sugar, and of course it's fortified with vitamins and minerals so you're getting your complete micronutrient profile for the most part as much as you're gonna need in order to survive a short-term situation anyways. Also, there's a general low sodium content, which is good. Now, another reason why it scored so low on this dimension was simply because there isn't a lot of diversity of the contents therein. And you can't really mix it with other things either. I mean, you can if you had to, but it's not gonna blend well with some of your other staples out there like rice and beans might blend together. So that's the justification for giving it such a lower score on the taste dimension. If you are genuinely hungry, it's probably gonna taste a lot better than it does taste when you're just doing a review like this and you just ate a nice meal a few hours prior. All right, now in terms of shelf life, it gets a five out of 10 because anything which purports to be five years of shelf life only gets a five out of 10. Now, after contacting the manufacturer and discussing this, I wanna give you his response with respect to this. So, so here's the response that I got from the manufacturer. So the FDA, IMO, SOLAS, FAA, USCG, and TC have strict rules with a maximum permitted shelf life of five years for any survival food. I've made a comment in the frequently asked questions regarding this issue. The fact is, tack bar should last tens of years without nutrition loss over time. Prepper rules apply. If you find something to eat, 
and it's not nasty, you can likely eat it. So essentially this score could probably be a lot higher, it could be a 6 or a 7 out of 10. So in spite of this, we're going to keep it at a 5 out of 10, however the backstory there should uh, provide you with some peace of mind if you plan on storing this longer than five years. All right, now in terms of durability, I think the durability is great. I mean, it's a compact thing. You could probably drop it from an airplane and it, it might get punctured or something like that, but it's still going to be palatable. It's not going to destroy. It's a very dense brick of nutrients basically it's wrapped in a mylar bag the mylar bags are not resealable that's uh, one thing i would like to see but that's not really a deal breaker because the fact is if you open one of these you're probably going to make your way through it in a couple days or so and it wouldn't be hard to just sort of wrap it up and uh, or put it in a ziploc bag or something like that to keep a little while longer now packaging once again spared at no expense the packaging is 100 percent professional over and above what you might want in a survival food. Everything is explained there with respect to all the ingredients that you have, where it was made, how it was made, all of the different certifications and testing that it's passed and all that. So all of that is explained on the packaging. Now the manufacturer of this also is a small business owner. I was contacted by them to review this item. So it gets a bonus for that for being made in America as well. The trade and ability is about a seven out of 10. Uh, it, just because it's not cuisine, but it's also very densely packaged, so it'd be easy to transport from one market to the next per se. Now the micronutrients get a 10 out of 10. As you can see here, every possible nutrient is in there in the exact amounts that it should be for the most part, with the exception of a few like vitamin K, which is pretty rare anyways. Uh, and I think it's for blood clotting or something like that effect. It doesn't serve a lot of functions, although that there are some vital function it serves, but nothing that's gonna kill you immediately. The macronutrients are an eight out of 10, just because you're getting approximately 54 grams of protein in the entire 2,500 calorie bar, which is pretty good. I mean, that's basically what you need in order to get through the day, depending on how much muscle mass you have in your body whether you're male or female. But generally speaking, 2,500 calories exceeds the typical 2,000 calorie a day prescription for most adults. In fact, for some smaller women, this 2,500 calorie bar might last you two days. That might be all your basal metabolic needs require. Now the price per calorie is a two out of 10. And keep in mind too, that this is being compared to rice which is a 10 out of 10 so i think rice i can't remember the exact number but for a dollar you're getting like something like 4,000 calories or something like that so this is comparably priced to the other food ration bars it's a little bit more pricey but you are getting a few more things with the package and of course it's tastier it's more densely packaged and there's a lot of other pros that outweigh the cons of those other typical SOS type bars. Now I'm gonna provide you the manufacturer's response for why the price per calorie is so high. Now he says here, I could not have used honey, whey protein, oats, and skipped the complex and costly fortification, which might have therefore reduced my cost by about 80%. But then I would be like the SOS or the other emergency food ration bars, which basically have empty calories. I'd also have to skip the cost of ruggedized packaging. So it's a tough ratio. I did struggle with it. I even hired a food science firm for help. So clearly a lot of thought was put into this. And you know, I think for the, for the price, what you're getting, it's on par with the mountain house and stuff like that. So. Uh, this is not a surprising score for me in terms of this category anyways. Now in terms of the preparation required, it's a 10 out of 10. You basically unwrap it and you eat it. There, It can't get any simpler than that. You don't need any tools. You don't need water. You don't have to cook it. It's basically plug and play with this. It gets a 10 out of 10 for that. Another good thing about this aspect of it is if you were using this in an escape and evasion situation or even a bug out situation where you had to maintain some element of stealth, uh, not having to cook stuff and not having to fiddle around in order to eat or get your sustenance is going to be an important factor. So this is pretty good. You can eat it on the down low without drawing too much attention to yourself necessarily. And you can eat it on the run while walking. If you can eat something well on the move, that's a, a big plus in terms of bug out food anyways. Now the storage requirements are a 10 out of 10 because it's such a concentrated form of nutrition. It's not going to take up a whole lot of space 
the nutrition to storage space demands ratio is very good so I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 here. You could store it basically any place you could store an emergency food ration bar. And it says do not exceed 121 degrees Celsius, but I mean, good luck storing it in a situation like that. I mean, it's going to have to be exposed to direct sunlight in the desert in order to reach 121 degrees Celsius. Yeah, the climate control that you have to have with this is very minimalist. So you shouldn't have many problems with that. So I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Now the versatility gets a 10 out of 10 because you're getting an ammo box with this, which is pretty cool. So there's a lot of versatility with that. You can use that for storage of other items. And also you get a belt with it and you get some water purification tablets. So it's more than just a food in that respect. And that's where the versatility thing really comes in. Not so much the versatility of what you can mix it with or things of that nature. Rather, all the accessories or peripheral aspects that come with it in order to increase its firepower and capability in the field. Now, in terms of accessibility, you can get this on Amazon.com. There is only one distributor from it as far as i know right now and that's the owner although it might be sold in other shops i'm not exactly sure but because of the fact that it is rare and hard to find it did get a low score on the accessibility factor so the tack bar gets a score of 80 out of 110 which translates into 75 percent which isn't a bad score by any stretch of the means and keep in mind that this prepper food index still needs a lot more refinement and i plan on delivering the prepper food index 2.0 at some point later on in the year. All right, if you did want to purchase a tack bar package, I'm going to post a link in the description and I'm going to see if I can't get a coupon code for you guys. And if I do, it will be posted in the description alongside that as well. So I hope this video was useful to you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Out. Check out the Canadian Preppers Network blog, an excellent resource for survivalists and preppers.